Well, I'm kind of, I'm kind of taken uh, up where I left off about uh, sitting in one spot and uh, watching the mountain, which I've been doing for two days again. And uh, I might be doing it for the rest of the week. Then, with a concept that I keep mulling around in my head is, uh, what if you, what if you have, what if you arrive, what if you've arrived? Um, you know, what, what if, you know, like, like hiking and searching and, uh, um, you know, having these goals and whatnot, uh, what if you find, you know, your spot, like, you know, career or, uh, um, I don't know anything like you like if you, you you get you end up buying a home or something like that and suddenly you're like I really like this home. Speaking of which, I really like this tent. Let me show it to you really fast. It has these. Uh, these. I think that's to put your shoes in there. So your shoes go back in there. I don't know, but it has these uh, cool pockets, uh, cantilevered. Uh, windows that swing out and down um, so actually the rain hits these windows but uh, there you go. there's pockets everywhere Did you see that view out there isn't that nice oh no the view is awesome wherever you look here so beautiful um, yeah I really like this tent and I really like this spot and uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Say like I mean to say you've just been you've been hiking and walking and traveling. Um, and it was something that I'd always felt I had a certain amount of anxiety about. Like um, what what hap what would happen if I was traveling? Uh, around the world and I found a spot that was more beautiful and more wonderful than uh, than my hometown of Portland, Oregon. Um, I mean, wouldn't that be awesome? Or having found it at 43, um, would I then like think, oh, sh I should have, why, did, why, why didn't I start traveling earlier? Um, all those times where I, I walked the wrong direction, you know, I, I thought I might get into a career or um, I was hoping to get to a point where I could actually afford to go to college. Um, so I was working really hard and trying to invest in things. Um, when I, what I should have been doing is uh, riding my bike around the world. It's a weird kind of anxiety, right? To like find some place better than you've ever known. I was uh, hiking with somebody once, and uh, there was supposed to be a, 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 a really beautiful spot. Um, and there wasn't really a trail to this spot. It was something that we'd heard about. And uh, so we were walking across this field. There were cows and stuff like that. Like, you know, cows, actually, the kind that can menace you, the kind with horns. Um, and uh, we came to this clearing and there was a series of waterfalls that cascaded from different bowls in a kind of like convoluted S pattern and there was like smooth rocks to sit on. Uh, some of the rock was so smooth and had water going down it and it was slick. Um, it was a natural water slide and uh, there was shade to sit in to watch this with a spectacle. And I immediately put my stuff down, and my friend said, "Well, let's let's check around. I mean, this might not this might not be it." And I'm like, "I'm like, look at this. This looks like a dream. If you dreamed about the most wonderful spot to watch some waterfalls and to play in water and get really hot and get really wet and then get in cool shade, um, you know, this was what how you what you'd dream about." Um, and this person got upset, like this person really wanted um, to search around a little bit. And uh, I got a little frustrated. And I think that I got a little frustrated with them um, because I understand what was going on for them. They weren't sure. 
they weren't sure they'd arrived. And so, and that's, so that's what, that's what I sit here staring at this mountain and I feel wonderful and I feel calm and I feel happy and I feel satisfied whichever direction I look. Um, you know, deep into this mossy forest or out over this rocky plain with this kind of like mineral rich gray water just bolting down the valley or up into the forest at the mountain. I feel like I've arrived. But a part of me is kind of like my friend, my friend that saw all this this wonderful spectacle but didn't was worried that they hadn't arrived. So Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say. Hard to say.